good. And plus, Bowser doesn't do horrible against City. Like we saw it this weekend, um, like we saw Nairo's Bowser, or yeah, Nairo's Bowser putting in a lot of work against literally everyone. Yeah, literally everyone. Yeah, so Bowser's a solid character. His Ryu's Ooh. solid too, though. And those feet are coming in Ooh. three in a row, 38% already. So we're going to be looking for some classic stuff. Ryu uh, starting to become a more common character, but not the most common character uh, just worldwide. So you're looking for stuff like uh, forward air, a lot of that. You're looking for up tilt to set up to shore you. And this percent will kill. Free. And you're looking for He's that. Oh, oh, he messed up the input and got the um, red fireball. That's, I mean, like Ryu's not going to have a super hard time killing, but now that Logic's definitely on If he was on the Smashbox, he wouldn't miss that. Uh, yeah, probably not. He probably wouldn't miss. missed What? He shielded the up tilt, thought he was going to punish, and then he and then Ash was like, I'm just going to do it. That was so Street Fighter. Like, <laughs> that's just like, you know, you set up for a tick throw, and then after they get used to tick throw, I was like, I'm just going to DP you I'm right there. I'm just going to DP, man. Yeah, why not? Well, right now, Ash out here with the uh, the great lead right now. We'll see if Logic's going to be able to recover, but Logic uh, has been known to kind of fluster a little bit uh, just against, against something that he's not particularly familiar with, right? Uh, Logic one of those players where until it Oh Ooh, no, that's again. Again. And he gets a re grab too? That's a lot of damage right there. That was an insane amount of damage, but the upper gonna challenge. We'll see if Logic gonna be able to challenge that, but focus attack. That focus attack will get eaten up by any multi-hit move or any any two moves, right? Because it'll eat one move and then the next move is gonna knock him out of it. Or just Ooh. grab. You or grab. What? Yeah, four smashes work too. Catching the rollback, actually, I was really surprised. It looks like he was kind of still invincible, but either way, Logic's got that one stock, but now he's definitely in kill percent. Yeah. Looking for up tilt Shoryu as the standard setup, but definitely he's going to be able to get Shoryu, uh, Shoryu, Shoryu get. And that back is going to do it too. Nice stuff. That comes out so deceptively fast. Yeah. And has really has like incredible range for the for how powerful it is. Mm -hmm. That back air, man, the foot, those feet have been all over the world. Yeah. All oh, he is the world warrior. That he is. All over the world. That man never wears shoes. You know how strong those calluses are? I mean, you know how strong that fungus on his foot has to be? Alright, but like I'm assuming he watches I shouldn't assume that. I don't know. I mean I mean What's the point if you aren't I mean, gonna wear shoes? If he's in Smash, he might probably been in some Smash tournaments mm -hmm. and it's not uncommon for anyway. Every time you kick him, you get a little bit of China on you. A little bit of Hong Kong. <laughs> a little bit of Hong Kong. A little bit of Zimbabwe. Just like wherever, whatever I mean any country. Because he's been all of them. Mm-hmm. Taking stocks along the way. <laughs> right now, here we go. Game two. Ash with a very convincing win in game one. But final destination is the counter pick from Logic, which I'm actually surprised as he usually actually goes battlefield. Like whenever he has the stage pick, he'll usually go battlefield just because he's super confident on that stage. Uh, I mean, Battlefield's not a bad pick, but Final Destination, uh, like, for this matchup, isn't particularly bad also, because once you get a, that banana out, yeah. you just get to cover so much more space, and then, um, really, Ash doesn't have a whole lot of options. He has to land somewhere, mm -hmm. or just take the ledge and lose a lot of positioning, and we all saw this weekend Diddy on the ledge is one of the best characters, yep. if not the best character in the game. So we'll see what he's able to do here. Banana in hand. Board air not going to connect right there. Oh, and he's missing the punish right there, as well as the monkey flip. Yeah, now both players are essentially in kill percent. Um, I feel like Ash was probably going to have to set up for a down tilt for you instead of up tilt. Ooh, but hey. he just kind of pops out. I guess Logic had too much rage for that to work like consistently. Very unfortunate right there, but an up throw, okay. Expecting the back throw there. But opting for the up air so he can catch a landing, possibly a stock, but not going to do it as center stage has been taken over once again. He's a bit too high for that up throw to combo anything um, consistently now. Back throw is going to send Logic off stage. Or Ash off stage, yep. yep. And that's not going to do it nope. yet. And the up smash going to take him right off the top right there. And Ash was in the first stock of game two. That was actually just a really good bait from Logic. Just throwing the banana out and just making Ash have to react to it or do something about it. And uh, getting that stock as a result. Ooh, all right. So the dash attack going to come through. And banana in hand for Ash now. Let's see if he's able to capitalize off it. Spacing with forward airs and back airs as well. That was actually really good on Logic to keep his back to the ledge now that Ash had the banana because once he got hit by it, he just kind of flies off. Now good damage from Logic. Ash is finally getting the answer back a little bit and gets the dash tag. I don't think he's dead yet. No, nope. he's not. Not yet. 154. So capping at Rage right now or roughly. Yep, yep. He's so, capped. Ooh. 
and the up smash once again, and Ash not even bothering with the focus attack because he knows he's going to get eaten by the up smash anyway. And this is why Logic picked Final Destination. Look at how much damage he caught just by catching all those landings oh. from Ash. Ash had nowhere to go right there, and now Logic is just running away with this game, and it's not even looking close right now. But once the stock flies off, yep, there we are having a different game right now because Ryu is one of the biggest comeback characters in this game. Yep, so we're looking for a clean 60% is what I'm looking for. Uh, you I could die at 40. Uh, uh, yeah, but yeah. you know, 60% guaranteed. Uh, ooh, all right, so now it's getting a little bit scary. Logic has to try and close this stock out, but without the banana, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to uh, get a setup right now into a stock. And this is getting more and more deadly by the second. If Logic hits What's him one more time and doesn't kill him, this could be yes. it. Is that? Yep, nice. it is. And Logic forcing a game three right there. Very, very patient play, Espe uh, specifically at the end of there, because Ash had the banana for like almost that entirety of the end of that game. He just waited, slipped on the own banana himself, but was then it was able to, you know, in the scramble. Mash out and up smash, and that's going to take the stock. Yeah, but the thing that like is really wild about that is that at fifty percent, at fifty percent, we were essentially in a last hit situation. That was me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we were essentially in a last hit situation, mm -hmm. just because the explosive kill power for you. And now that's on um, Ash's counter pick, this could swing Ta really, really quickly. I would say either Town and City, or uh, they played Smashville game one, right? Yeah. So yeah, I'm yeah. thinking either Town and City or Lul uh, Doc Hunt. Duck Hunt or Lilat, but it's like basically, I mean, I guess Battlefield, but like as a true counter pick, I'm assuming Logic would ban Town and City. Yeah. Um, so your choices are Battlefield, Lilat, and Duck Hunt. I would, I would pick Dreamland. Because oh, you Dreamland, have, I'm sorry. Yeah, you still have the benefits of um, like Battlefield roughly, but then you have the slightly lower ceiling also. Now the true Shore Union without Rage probably won't kill Diddy until like maybe 80, 90%. With Rage, though, we could see his deaths as early as like, you know, 50, 60. And Logic's actually already at 50%, only off a couple hits. Ryu is out here hitting hard, man. Yeah. Ooh, okay, but like I, like I was saying earlier, man, Logic, this is Logic's favorite competitive stage, man. This guy, well, uh, more often than not, he's like, I'm. Battlefield doesn't really counterpick for me. Actually, Battlefield might be a worse choice than me some other stages, but I'm still going to pick Battlefield because I'm comfortable on that stage. And comfort is, is huge here. And so, I mean,. Diddy, not that bad, right? If he was playing Olimar, it'd be a little bit different, but, you know, here we have uh, him meet the ability to, to monkey flip from platform to platform, as well as have some uh, cover the landings from, ooh, coming from Ash right now, and Logic out here on a clinic right now. Yeah, this is actually just really good stage control work coming in from Logic. Just throwing Ash off stage. He hasn't been able to get his feet on the ground in the last 20 seconds. Okay. Great monkey flip. I'm actually really surprised that hit. And now Logic might be swinging a little bit too hard. Ash could get back into this in any second. Good double Ooh, pass. Ooh, watch your shield, bro. God, that was that was one up tilt away. If he had done one more up tilt and then the forward tilt, that would have been a broken shield. Shoot, but if he had looked at him one more yeah. time, that would have been a broken shield. <laughs> By the way, coulda, woulda, shoulda. Logic's going to take that first stock and count his blessings. But now it's all Ash. He has a center stage right now. He just needs to get this kill. And now we'll have a really close game. Question is how? Oh, uh, a little bit quick on the trigger right there. Is I wonder if Ryu's fast enough to throw the banana and still make it there for Shoryu. Um, if he hits him close enough, yeah. But yeah, yeah Ash just hasn't really had the chance to get that yet. Ryu, not the fastest running character, but that Shoryu's gonna get punched right there. A very questionable one, and just straight up, just do it. And you're gonna get punched by a lot of damage from that. Already at 82%. Logic. Oh, oh my that's rough. God. Still living, though. Still living. And the banana, once again, like you were saying earlier, at the ledge, Diddy, one of the best, if not the best character of the game, are covering almost every option. Mm -hmm. And there's really not too much that Ash can do right now. Yes. Okay, he gets that up smash. Finally gets the kill. And after almost being lapped in percent, though. 129. It's nothing to laugh at right now. Up smash will be able to KO here. Honestly, this is like the biggest thing that Ash is having trouble with. Ooh. Oh, nice option. But it looks like Ash is trying to land too aggressively. If he just kind of fades back a little bit more, he has more options now. And that will be it, and the stock is going yeah. to get taken. Logic coming in, rallying back game three. You're going to take that. Yeah, I mean, Ash just effectively being a little bit too aggressive with his landings, like we were saying. He had yeah. multiple opportunities to be like, you know what, I'm just going to go to the ledge and try to take the 50-50. Well, even on the ledge, like, even, like, not even counting the ledge, you